Count Palmer and others in Venice, 1880-1909. to 1909. Walter Laund Palmer was an American Impressionist. He was a lifelong resident of Albany, born there in 1854, a bit before the Civil War started. He died there 78 years later, during the Depression. Like many of his contemporary artists, he traveled to Venice to paint it. His first trip was when he was 28, in 1882, his last 20 years later. He produced over 100 works of art during these trips. This is one of them, St. Mark's Basilica. On the right is that same church painted by Whistler during, obviously, a different time of day. Here's what Whistler thought about painting. As music is the poetry of sound, so is painting the poetry of sight. The subject matter has nothing to do with harmony of sound or of color. So Whistler wasn't depicting St. Mark's. He was using it to inspire visual poetry. Whistler's first and only visit to Venice commenced three years before Palmer's first visit. Whistler had a commission from a London art gallery to produce 12 etchings of Venetian scenes over the course of three months. However, Whistler ended up spending 15 months in Venice producing the 12 commissioned etchings, as well as 38 additional etchings, 100 pastels, and a handful of oil paintings, including this one. On the left is a watercolor by Palmer, a different scene than Whistler's, but also during a foggy evening. Palmer recorded in his diary. After a particularly rewarding day of painting, I went with all the crowd out on the water. The most beautiful moonlight I ever saw. There was a slight fog, which made it all wonderful. On the right is a watercolor by Sargent of that same church, which Palmer had painted in the moonlight. Sargent chose to depict a working harbor during the day. The church was almost obscured by all the ships. Venice was the city Sargent traveled to most often, over a span of 40 years. In just the 15 years before the start of World War I, Sargent painted over 150 oils and watercolors of Venice. Here's some advice Sargent gave about painting. Store up in the mind a continuous stream of observations from which to make selections later. In this painting, Palmer is depicting the Doge's palace. He wrote, Art is an interpretation, not an imitation. On the right is Renoir's painting of the Doge's Palace. When Renoir made his only visit to Venice in 1881, the year before Palmer's first visit, he was drawn to the same famous Venetian sites. This view was very popular with artists. Renoir joked that there were at least six of us queuing up to paint it. When speaking later with a friend, Renoir said, By the time I went to Venice, I had wrung Impressionism dry. Light plays too great a part outdoors. When you are trying to paint the light before it changes, you have no time to work out the composition. But Corot painted all his life in the open, didn't he? His friend asked. Renoir replied, his studies, yes, but his compositions were done in the studio. He corrected nature. I believe that Renoir corrected this composition by removing the island on which he was working from the foreground of his painting, 
whereas Palmer had left the island in his painting. Renoir chose to create a close-up of the Doge's palace, which could only have been seen from a boat in the canal. Here is a watercolor by Palmer of yet another church in Venice. There are 139 churches in Venice, by the way. Palmer wrote, One's eye should be the camera. When a mind has been sufficiently enthralled by the beauty it perceives, a vivid, tangible image often remains. Paint from nature if you must, from memory if you can. On the right is a painting by Monet of the same church. Monet only made one trip to Venice in 1908, when he was 68. This was several years after Palmer's last visit to Venice. When Monet saw the city, he was gripped by it and said, It is too beautiful to be painted. It is untranslatable. Yet, after several days in Venice, he felt an urge to paint. He spent three months there and started 37 paintings, which he finished in his studio. Here's what Monet thought about painting. I wish I had been born blind and then suddenly gained my sight. That way I could paint the colors I see before me and not be distracted by the objects. Let's look at the words of these painters one more time. Palmer said, Art is an interpretation, not an imitation. One's eye should be the camera. When a mind has been sufficiently enthralled by the beauty it perceives, a vivid, tangible image often remains. Paint from nature if you must, from memory if you can. Sergeant, store up in the mind a continuous stream of observations from which to make selections later. Renoir, light plays too great a part outdoors. When you are trying to paint the light before it changes, you have no time to work out the composition. Whistler, as music is the poetry of sound, so is painting the poetry of sight. The subject matter has nothing to do with harmony of sound or of color. And finally, Monet. I wish I had been born blind and then suddenly gained my sight. That way I could paint the colors I see before me without being distracted by the objects. Using these ideas, they produced hundreds and hundreds of masterpieces. Palmer, Whistler, Sargent, Renoir and Monet are just a few of the artists who traveled to Venice 125 years ago. Some stayed longer than they had planned. Others returned again and again.